Oh my gosh, guys, I have a huge haul for you guys today. It is huge. Uh, my sister, my brother-in-law and I took a drive, and by drive I mean like three and a half, almost four hours, uh, to a place in New Jersey that has a Daiso. And they had a, like a manga store, they had a figure store that has like figures, clothes, and all kinds of things from animes, and anything you can think of. And they had a big market with like some little shops in it. So I had some like good ramen, like real ramen, and I got boba tea and all kinds of stuff. It was a nice day, but I wanted to show you guys everything that I got in my haul because I did get quite a lot, but I did save up for this because I know it's not gonna be like a everyday thing for me to go up there. It was gonna be like a once every couple months or every six months or something like that. Just a nice little trip, a road trip. So uh, let's get into my haul and it has a bit of everything. So yeah, let's go. The first thing I got was this rice strainer. I have a really small one and whenever I make my onigiri or um, sushi, it doesn't hold all the rice that I need. So I picked one of these up and it has a nice little handle and it can hold way more than what mine does. And then I don't have to wash to, like over and over again the rice. So I got that. And I did have a calculation, but I can't find it. It was 150 yen, I think, and um, whatever that isn't, I don't know. I had a conversion chart, but I can't find it. I got myself some chopsticks. I actually got two different sets. I got these pretty ones, and I got this set of just like plain ones. I used to have a lot of chopsticks, and I don't know what happened to them, but they're like all gone. I find them easier to eat noodles with, so I wanted to get some more. I got these chip clips and these are really cool because they have these little slides and you can put when you got them, so like the month and the day. So then you know like when they expire when you grab the bag to check it. Isn't that genius? I got some soup spoons. I figured these are so much easier to get the like the last bit of soup out of the bowl. So I got myself a few. I got this for my husband. He always likes to make like cut fresh garlic and stuff so I thought this he would really like um, for cooking because we don't have one of these I got an egg pan okay I've been eyeing one of these up on Amazon for like 14 bucks but they had them there so I got that and I don't have a paring knife so I picked up a paring knife while I was there that's gonna make cooking so much easier oh and I got some rice spatulas as well rice paddles I have a wooden one and I thought these might be a lot easier to clean than the wooden ones, so I picked some of those up. The last few items I got are for bento boxes. I, my husband got me a bento box for Christmas last year, and I actually want to use it, so I picked up this rice ball set, the panda one. Of course, I had to pick that. I see everybody using that, and I needed it. I picked up this set. They didn't have much for bentos there, uh, but they had a few of these little plates, so I got this one with like the faces for the ham and cheese. I picked up these flower cutters for like the little bits and bobs, and I picked up this uh, rice baller, the one that you can shake to make it into a rice ball. First snack I got was a pop and cooking. I have a whole bunch of these, um, but this is one that I don't happen to have. So instead of getting it on Amazon, I picked it up there because it'd be a whole lot cheaper to get. So I got the uh, Tenoshi Waffle Kit. And this looks so yummy. Uh, the next thing I got was three bags of this. <laughs> My uh, husband and I, we get snacks from the Wii app and we happened to like this one and kind of fall over the bag. So I just picked up three of them while I was there because they were only $2.75. I believe and they're so yummy if you haven't tried these try them they're really good I picked up some dashi I've been telling my husband about these and he's been wanting to try them so I got some prep I got some of these gummy straws I've been seeing them on TikTok and wanted to try them um, I will try not to choke on them but I might make a video of me eating them I might not I don't know but they look good and figured I'd try them out and the last thing I got were these bags of Mokita I was actually talking to a friend about Mokita and they've never had them and I'm going to be sending them a, um, like a, a, an envelope with some goodies 
So I figured I'd pick some of these up for myself and to send to them because these are so yummy. The only thing is that they're not the hard candies, they're the soft candies. I like the hard candies better, but um, I had already opened it up on the drive home and picked out a honeydew to try on the way home because I love them so much. And that's it for like the snacks and goodies that I got at Daiso. So I'm going to go on to the craft stuff. Oh, I don't have it here, but I did get a Rilakkuma face mask while I was there. I forgot to bring one and I was borrowing one of my sisters and then I saw this and I just had to get it. My sister got a face mask too. Um, and it fits really nice and has like the little beads on the end so you can make it tighter or looser. So uh, if you ever see these, pick them up if you like uh, to collect face masks. I have so many now that I just like to match them to my outfit or how I'm feeling. Um, I actually really like wearing masks because <laughs> I don't have to smile. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I saw this. Um, also, this should have been with like the the kitchen goods. These doilies I thought would be pretty for pictures, so I picked them up. And I also thought they'd be nice for scrapbooking, so I picked them up as well. That's why they're with the uh, craft stuff. So the first thing I saw when I walked in was like the Sanrio section and Al Picasso. I wanted to get every single one of them, but I only got these two. I love Al Picasso. I do not own any Al Picasso and I love them. If you guys have been here long enough, you know that I love llamas and alpacas, so I had to pick these up. And they're the only thing that I got because they were the only thing there that was Al Picasso. I picked up a um, the stamp block. I wanted to get some stamps and do the stamp block. They didn't have any stamps there though that I liked, so I didn't get any. They only had like two different sets of stamps at the time. But I figured I'd get the stamp block because around here, getting the stamp block is really, really expensive. Um, I don't know how much it was. It doesn't say on here. Um, but I picked that up a while, so if I ever pick up stamps when they're on sale and stuff, then I have the block to put it on. I picked up a bunch of origami paper. Uh, I thought these would be cute for my journaling. This one just has like sweet treats and that has writing on the back, but I thought it would be pretty cute. Oh, sorry, I should hold it this way. It'd probably be easier. Just a bunch of, like, um, different drinks. It'd be pretty cute for a little theme. This one also has different breads on it. It's got, like, the little bear truck here. Some uh, different types of cookies. Cookies and then, like, a cookie castle. And I thought it was really cute. There's 16 sheets in here. This one's pretty cute. It's just a bunch of different like lines um you can see the designs on the back here they're kind of see-through i thought they would look really cute for journaling i do origami occasionally so they'd be good for origami as well and then i got these two disney sets and there's 30 sheets in there and then i also got this one with a bunch of different marie's on it i was looking for paper star paper because i really want to learn how to do paper stars and make some paper stars but they didn't have any so i didn't get any I got a few of these resin uh, clear sheets and then the colors are also in the background. So I got this one, it says like happy, like, yes, smile, enjoy, peace, all over it. Um, and I like the little backgrounds for it, so I picked that one up. They had a mini and Mickey Mouse one, so I got this one to make some pieces. I thought these would be really cute. And then I got this one. I got some of these uh, stickers as well. Oh, they're really hard to see on the camera, but uh, these are some uh, press-on stickers. And this one, if you guys can kind of see if I shine it, it's like a gold foil. It's really hard to see in the light. Well, they all think, say things like always be yourself, um, change is good, dreams come true, or dream comes true. Um, fortune comes in comes in by a, a merry gate. All good sayings. Um, so I thought that would be pretty cool for journaling. This one was really cute. Look how adorable this little tea party one is. I really hope it'll go on paper. Uh, it's a rub, rub on sticker, so it should. And then this honey one. I got these two Christmas foil sticker sets for my Christmas journaling. They look really cute. Um, some of these are taggies as well. So maybe I'll put some on Christmas presents for people. Uh, if you guys can see really close, there are the styles in this one. And there are the styles in that one. I got three washi tapes while I was there. 
This one says Merry Christmas. They look like little stamps and it's mainly red and just a bunch of different Christmas stamps. This one here is another one. It's just all different Christmas uh, stamps, but they're all different colors. And the final one that I got has dinosaurs all over it. <laughs> So I had to get that one. Then I've got lots of stickers. So let's get into this. A bunch of stickers. I got these Rilakkuma with the uh, Sakura uh, flowers or the cherry blossoms. And you can see the pricing here, two, two fifty. The Rilakkuma in space. This one was really cute. I really like this little Saturn moon there. I got some of these Jinbei San. I've never seen these before, and I thought they were so beautiful. Look how cute they are. I love the gradients in these stickers, so I had to pick them up. Then I got some dot stickers. I've been wanting dot stickers for a while. They only had a few colors, so I got the greens. I got these uh, blues to like um, periwinkle, I guess, purple. Here's the lavender ones. I got some pinks, and these are a different type of pink. So, I got all those, so they'll fill out some of my journal pages. I picked up some of these as well, and I got one of each, I think, that they had there. So there's unicorns, these just different circles, diamonds and jewels, hearts, and then the last one I got is stars. So that was everything that I got from Daiso. And then we went to a few other stores, so I'm gonna show you what I got there as well. I did pick up a paper theater, and then I got this for my husband. I think he's gonna really like it. I haven't given it to him yet, I haven't showed him, and it was only $25. So most of the time you find them pretty expensive, uh, these figures like this. But I think he's really gonna like this. And these were only 99 cents, so I got him Two of his favorite characters from Jojo. The next place we went to was a Japanese market and we don't have any of them in our area. Nowhere to be found. So I, I didn't get much there though. I, I did get a few things that we can't get around here but uh, not much. I didn't go ham. I got this bag of instant miso soup. I like to make miso soups for lunches. I work from home and it makes it so easy for me to just boil a teapot on like my break and then by the time I have lunch it's warm enough for me and all I have to do is pour it and I can have some soup. So I got this bag of soup and it's gonna last me for quite some time. I also picked up some nori. Uh, this one was $2.99 for 10 sheets so that I could use it for some sushi or if I wanna make some onigiri, then I have it. They also had a bag of 50 for $15, but I was afraid that I wouldn't use the whole bag up before it would expire, so I didn't get it. Don't know if this is a good brand either. If you guys have an idea of like a better brand, let me know, or if I can get them online better, let me know. I did get a few Calpicos as well. I drank a little bit of this. I wanted to leave some for my husband to try, so I got strawberry. I got some white peach, because I've never had that before. And then the last thing I got was this milk tea, which was really yummy. And like I said, I had there was a ramen shop there, so I got some ramen that, it was soy sauce ramen, and it was delicious. It was the best ramen I've ever had. I It was so good. I mean, it's probably the best ramen because we don't have anything in my area. I also had my first boba tea while I was there. I got a boba, just a milk tea, and it was so good. I can see why everybody hypes it up so much. I wish I had more. Like, I feel like I didn't get enough. But the place also had some uh, macarons. So, I got macarons. I'm sorry about the, the noise. They gave me a bunch of napkins. But um, there's the case. Oh, they kind of got a little ruined on the drive home, but uh, there they are. <laughs> the box is a little big, but they got a little ruined on the way home. Doesn't matter. They're still going into my stomach. I'm still going to eat them. But they're so pretty. And I think I've only had one macaron in my life, so I'm excited to try these as well. Oh, and when I got home, I had a package from Teddy Fresh, so I got my Teddy Fresh uh, hoodie. I really love Teddy Fresh clothes. I have a lot and 
they were having a sale. I only buy like one piece at a time and I've been wanting a um, beanie for the longest time. I don't know why I said, I called it a hoodie. And it was on sale, so I picked one up for myself. But yeah, guys, that's all I have for you today. I'm sorry it was a huge haul. Uh, it won't happen often because we're not going to be going there that often. Unless they start bringing places closer to us. Who knows? I wish I had a Daiso closer so I could get uh, more stuff. They didn't have that many craft supplies. I was really hoping that they would have like the little resin kits and stuff like that. But I'm still happy with what I got and I can't wait to start using it. Uh, did you guys have any favorite items that I got today? Let me know down in the comments section. Um, if you're new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button. I do more than just hauls. I do a lot of craft videos. So make sure you check those out. I also stream over on Twitch. So check that out. All those links are down in the description for you guys. And I hope you see you next time. Bye.